VR is a very immersive space. AR is a great way to bring stories and places to life. This is the time to be creating really ambitious, large-scale VR content. We need to give freedom for creatives to be able to experiment. This isn't just about games, it's about a, a much broader uh, ability to make cultural statements and interventions of different kinds. The difficult thing about the immersive industry at the moment is that the medium is, is not very well established, it's not completely well understood, but nor is the ecosystem around it in terms of all the commissioners and distributors and all the people who need to be in place to make this work. Creative XR is a 12-week programme for up to 20 creative teams to take part in. They will get access to up to £20,000 to take their product through to prototype. That funding is there to help those teams spend the time to figure out what they can do with the technology. It's totally new for the UK because we don't have anyone who's both um, financing the prototyping and having a kind of accelerator programme for projects. Right now we're in this unique position where after 12 weeks we can show our prototype to a room full of commissioners, investors, people who are interested, people who even if this project doesn't go with them, these are our industry and we're going to be having conversations with them about all of our work well into the future. Being here at, at Digital Catapult is really inspiring. Uh, just bringing that space where one can experience, have fun and not be scared by, will I get my money, uh, will I get funding, but just focus on, okay, I need to create something and uh, to create those space is, is so important. For us as a company, we only really work to commissioned projects, so to have funding from an outside source is quite rare. We didn't need to respond to a particular brand, it was about doing something that we cared about and a story that we really wanted to tell. So it was really putting our skills to use for a real passion project, I guess. This is going to be one of the best days in the whole of my 18 years at the Arts Council. To actually see, hear and feel incredible immersive content created by this amazing bunch of uh, talented and passionate people. I mean, it's the stuff that gets us up in the morning, I guess. The structure of the programme was really useful. It really focused our attention on what needed to be done. We knew that we were against the deadline and that made us more productive. We have a very broad range of partners in Creative XR and that's what we're the most proud of. Seeing the likes of Sony PlayStation, seeing the likes of the BBC or the great arts institutions as well joining our programme, there was a great validation and a great support for all the companies developing their prototypes. The partnership has been actually one of the great out outcomes for me and for the Arts Council. Digital Catapult is, is a public sector body like ourselves. We saw in them an extraordinary can-do attitude that, that we felt would mean that this programme would come to life very quickly. The workshops here at Digital Catapult have been a really amazing opportunity to hear from people that are at the forefront of this new medium. Being a part of this group of creatives, seeing their work, seeing their journey, seeing updates on their their progress. It's been very interesting and, and we've learned a lot from just chatting with everybody. All of those people have come from very different places. There are some that are much more commercial ideas, there's a lot from the museum space and then there are some sort of from the arts and theatre space as well and actually grouping all of those people together along with the technology partners as well has been a real melting pot and I just think it's seeing what those combinations of people come up with has been the exciting thing. Thanks to our partnership with the Arts Council, Creative XR has some further funding to try and help a subset of these companies to, to fund them, to perhaps match fund them, so we'll be looking at all the opportunities to do that as well. So this won't be the last they see of us, we're going to continue to support them as they make it through to the next phase.